Last summer, three people died on the Skykomish River. This summer, the water is running high and fast. It was just yesterday that some travelers found a man who had gotten himself into what they described as a deadly situation. In the woods, company can be hard to find. This group of travelers was at the right place at the right time. We saw this guy clinging to this rock. Yeah. Um, and he was shouting, but we were we wanted to go closer to see if he was shouting help. Zach and Samara are from the UK. They're here visiting family. They were staying at a cabin along the Skykomish River. That's where they spotted a man in the water. He yeah. was on this rock clinging to for his life because he was about two meters away from Canyon Falls, which was just a, this sort of waterfall that goes through this sort of rocky canyon basically looked unsurvivable. Their friend Josh, who grew up in Washington, called what happened a coincidence. We were actually slowing down to show them this is the waterfall where people die. And then there was a guy there and I could, we could see him yelling help from the car. The group just got feet away from the man, hoping to assess. We weren't going to be able to save him. We didn't have any rope. We didn't have any training. They called 911. A team of responders arrived to the remote location within 30 minutes. The rescue captured on camera. <laughs> he got the loop around himself with one hand, and then I think they just told him to let go because he just like let go, and then they pulled him up. But this, like half a second after he had let go, he was already like on the rock. The two travelers witnessing the dangers of the Skykomish, leaving this group with a message to stay out of the water. Just don't always respect the fact that if water is at your waist, it can pin you down, right? He couldn't make any headway upstream, and then if he had taken even one step downstream, he would have been over the falls. Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.